Hi everyone, I am Dr. Narendra Kumar, going to demonstrate temporal fascia graft harvesting. I love history, so we will start with the history. Strauss and Heerman reported in, in 1961 and 62, but Ortrigan reported his four years experience in 1961, who is the first one to report this temporal fascia harvesting. This is a cross-sectional area of the temporal muscle area showing the deeper layer of the temporal fascia. Coming to the incision, the one is for the smaller temporal fascia, two is for the larger one and three type of incision is made for the revision type of cases. Infiltration is given, after that a horizontal 2 cm incision is made just 0.52 or 1 cm superior to the helix part and we are using the mosquito artery force we are just dissecting the next layer which is nothing but the subcutaneous tissue. Using the Jensen self retaining retractor, we are just retracting the deeper layers. We can use smaller and retractors as well for this purposes. The next layer we are going to dissect is auricular muscles, both anterior and superior parts will be coming over it, and we can just dissect it for attaining to the, the next layers. You can able to see the dissection is made out here dissecting the auricular muscles self-retaining can be reapplied again for dissecting the deeper most parts the next layer we are going to dissect is nothing but the temporal fascia the temporal fascia com uh, composed of two layers which is a superficial layer which I am going dissecting now which is just beneath the auricular muscles and consisting of loose areolar fibrous tissues the next layer to the superficial la uh, layer is a deep layer of temporal fascia which is area of in interest so which is a very strong and it's also called as lamina profunda is upper neurotic and and it's a clear arrangement of the fibers is present here which is good for reconstruction of the tympanic membrane the white clear fascia we are going to dissect now after reaching this deep layer of the temporal fascia uh, a normal sign is injected between the deeper layer of the temporal fascia and the muscle for the hydro dissection to separate it from the muscle and make it a little easy for removing of the temporal fascia a ovoid or the needed amount of incision is made over the deeper layer of the temporal fascia usually the inferior half centimeter of the temporal muscle is too thick fascia is too thick for immediate eardrum reconstruction and the inferior incision through the fascia should therefore be made about 0.5 centimeter superior to the lower attachment of the muscle leaving the thick strip of fascia in place if the fascia is to be used as a larger piece of eardrum and for ear canal reconstruction, the thick strip is excellent for reconstruction of the ear canal. On the other hand, the inferior thick strip of fascia is good for the support for the temporal muscle when used as a superiorly based muscle flap in cavity obliteration. For this reason, the inferior strip should stay connected to the muscle. Here you are seeing, I am just removing the fascia from the attachments of the muscle. Just tease out, tease out, tease out, which without tearing the fascia. The encircled incision is just connected and teasing out and we are going to remove this fascia out from the temporal muscle. The removed fascia is placed backside of the bowl or the glass slide and tease out is being done to remove the underlying structures attached to the fascia making the fascia very thin usually the fascia is stretched over the muscle and will contract after the excision the area of the fascia will therefore be smaller after the excision than before so the borders of the remaining fascia will also retract making the additional removal of the fascia from the same incision is making very difficult and keeping the fascia 
the incandescent lamp will make it dry very quickly and ready for the reconstruction. So the retractors are being removed and the wound is closed by 3,0 ethylon. Simple suturing uh, is more than enough for this type of wounds. And for the revision cases, the incision is made 2 cm superior to the helix so that we will get the remaining temporal fascia for the revision type of cases. So I hope that it's very useful for the postgraduates of ENT or the beginners. Thank you all for watching it.